Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about four clinically proven herbs effective for treating hepatitis. For those of you that do not know, hepatitis literally refers to liver inflammation. Hepa refers to liver and itis refers to inflammation. Now, there are various stages or degrees of hepatitis. There's hepatitis A, B, and C. Hepatitis A generally refers to the chronic inflammation of the liver, which can be induced by a variety of different factors, environmental toxins, metabolic stress, and other toxins or stressors that can lead to inflammation in the liver. And then there's hepatitis B and C, which is a viral-induced inflammatory condition of the liver. Now, in viral hepatitis, the immune system is being overly stimulated or activated by the heptic virus, which leads to inflammation and therefore liver damage. Now, the major problem with inflammation is that it directly damages or injures the particular cell, tissue, or organ that it's inflicted by, resulting in the impairment or the dysfunctioning of that particular area. Now, in regards to the liver, given the fact that the liver is one of the most important organs in the body, it's part of the endocrine system, it's a major metabolic organ, so it plays key roles in all the metabolic functions and processes, and it's the master chemist of the body. So it's involved in all of the chemical processes in the body, and specifically the bio transformation of your food or nutrients into energy, as well as the detoxification of drugs, metabolic waste, various endogenous and exogenous uh, chemicals or environmental toxins, which are then eliminated or excreted from the body. When the liver becomes impaired, all of these functions also become impaired. In this combination of the interference of biological energy production and the accumulation of toxic waste in the body is the quintessential formula for disease and stress. Fortunately, not only is hepatitis and liver inflammation treatable and curable if taken the right route, but the liver has an incredible capacity for regeneration and self-healing. Granted that you remove the causative agents that are injuring or harming or stressing the liver in the first place. And of the many things that you can do to correct liver inflammation and hepatitis specifically, some of the most therapeutic, novel, and proven agents for doing this are going to be some of the various liver tonic Chinese herbs. In fact, for over 2,500 years, there have been various liver tonic formulas and specific liver tonic herbs that have been used in Chinese medicine to improve inflammatory conditions of the liver, regenerate the liver, and specifically treat hepatitis. And in this particular video, I wanna highlight four of the major herbs and their active constituents that mostly contribute to the liver protective effects the anti-inflammatory effects and the anti-hepatitis effects of various Chinese herbal formulas. The first herb I'd like to discuss with you is astragalus. Now in vitro, astragalus has been shown to have profound anti-hepatitis B activities. In fact, it's been found that the major saponin in astragalus, known as astragaliside, effectively suppresses the secretion of the hepatitis virus antigens with an inhibitory rate up to 23%. What's more was that the study found that astragalicide was capable of suppressing this antigen just as effectively as common antiviral medications without the cytotoxicity that those usually come along with. And lastly, another study found that astragalus was actually more effective at suppressing the hepatitis virus than placebos. The second anti-hepatitis herb I want to talk to you about is milk thistle. Now traditionally, milk thistle is one of the most widely used herbs for treating a variety of liver diseases, including liver cirrhosis, fibrosis, and hepatitis. Now milk thistle is comprised of four isomers with the primary active constituents being psilobin and psilomarin. But it also contains other beneficial constituents like betanine, flavonolignans, as well as essential fatty acids that all have profound anti-inflammatory effects on the liver. And there just so happens to be a variety of different clinical studies showing that the active constituents in milk thistle is beneficial for treating alcohol-induced liver cirrhosis, liver fibrosis, and has a safe and beneficial effect on treating various degrees of hepatitis with no negative toxic side effects. 
The third anti-hepatitis herb I want to talk to you about is Shizandra or Shizandra berry. Now, Shizandra is also traditionally known to be a tonic to the liver. However, nowadays it's being widely used in clinical practice to treat both chemical and viral forms of hepatitis. So all forms of hepatitis are being effectively treated with Shizandra berry. Now according to study, Shizandra berry can effectively enhance heptic glutathione levels, which is the master antioxidant of the body, as well as enhance and facilitate the antioxidant and detoxification systems within the liver. In fact, it's well known to be a novel therapeutic agent for improving liver detoxification phase one, which is usually impaired in hepatitis, but it enhances it despite the presence of hepatitis. Now, after chemical analyzation, it has been found that Shizandra possesses a wide variety of therapeutic constituents known as lignans, specifically Shizandrin, Gamacin A, Deoxyshizandrin A, as well as many others. And it's these chemical constituents which have been postulated to give Shizandra its powerful anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-cancer, immunomodulatory, and as well as its anti-hepatitis effects on the liver. The fourth and final herb I want to talk to you about today is actually an herbal formula known as Chinese bitters. Now Chinese bitters is another traditional liver tonic formula that possesses two powerful liver tonic herbs known as gentian root and belplerium. Now there are a variety of clinical studies that show that the herbs in Chinese bitters possess anti-inflammatory, immunomodulatory, liver protective effects that is especially therapeutic for treating hepatitis. Now the way that Chinese bitters works is by inhibiting the major pro-inflammatory chemicals or pro-inflammatory cytokines like macrophages or Kupfer cells, as well as chemicals and reactive oxygen species that would otherwise lead to the inflammation and heptic cell death associated with hepatitis. So that's a really fancy way of saying that Chinese bitters and these herbs actually are powerfully anti-inflammatory. In fact, in one study it was found that mice who were treated with belplerium, who had liver damage, had significantly reduced levels of inflammatory cytokines, which in turn alleviated the liver damage. That brings today's video to a close. These are just a handful of clinically proven herbs with liver protective effects, powerful anti-inflammatory effects on the liver that are especially therapeutic for treating liver hepatitis or the various stages of hepatitis. Now, if you're interested in learning more on this particular subject, I have a blog post that talks about everything that we've talked about here today in greater detail. I have links to all the various studies in that blog post as well as in the description box below. However, that does bring this video to a close. So if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos. And if you're interested in supplementing with any of these herbs I talked about here today, you can find those on our online tonic herb shop in the description box below.